Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Like a modern day game of cat and mouse, hackers try to break into systems while security experts try to stop them. Wi-Fi hacking, in particular, is very tempting for some. Think about it, the ability to access information wirelessly, like an invisible key to a digital fortress. It's exciting and dangerous at the same time. Hacking into Wi-Fi networks is not a victimless crime. It can have serious consequences. Imagine someone stealing your personal information, your bank details, or your private photos. These are real risks. That's why understanding how hackers operate is crucial. It's the first step in protecting ourselves. We need to remember that knowledge is power. By learning about the tactics hackers use, we can build stronger defenses. This knowledge empowers us to protect our digital lives. So, let's delve into the world of ethical hacking and see how it's done. Every profession has its tools, and ethical hacking is no different. Just like a carpenter needs a saw and hammer, ethical hackers rely on specific software tools to test and improve network security. One such tool is Kali Linux. It's a powerful operating system designed specifically for penetration testing, a legal and ethical form of hacking. Kali Linux is like a Swiss army knife for ethical hackers. It comes preloaded with a vast array of tools, each with its unique purpose. Some tools scan for network vulnerabilities, while others can crack passwords or intercept data. Aircrack NG, for example, is a popular tool for testing Wi-Fi network security. Another essential tool is Wireshark, a network protocol analyzer. It's like a microscope for network traffic, allowing ethical hackers to examine data packets in detail. By analyzing these packets, they can identify security flaws and potential attack vectors. These are just a few examples of the many tools used in ethical hacking. Imagine a hacker sitting in a busy cafe, laptop open. They're not there for coffee and cake. They're on the hunt, searching for vulnerable Wi-Fi networks. They use tools like NetStumbler or Kismet, which act like digital bloodhounds, sniffing out wireless networks in the vicinity. These tools provide crucial information about each network, like its name, SSID, and signal strength. But the real prize is the security protocol used by the network. Older protocols, like WEP, Wired Equivalent Privacy, are like flimsy locks, easily picked open. Hackers love finding these because they know they can break in quickly. WPA and WPA2, Wi-Fi Protected Access, are more secure, but even these can be vulnerable if not configured correctly. Once the hacker identifies a network with weak security, they mark it as a potential target. They might even try to connect to it, just to test the waters. This is like casing the joint before a robbery. They're gathering information, looking for the easiest way in. Finding a weak Wi-Fi network is just the first step. The real challenge for a hacker is exploiting its weaknesses to gain access. Think of it like a puzzle. They need to find the right pieces and put them together to unlock the door to the network. One common method is called war driving. Hackers drive around using their laptops and special software to scan for open Wi-Fi networks. They're like digital treasure hunters looking for unprotected networks they can exploit. Once they find one, they can launch various attacks depending on the security protocol used. For web networks, they might use a tool like Aircrack NG to capture enough data packets to crack the encryption key. This gives them the password to access the network and everything on it. WPA and WPA2 networks are tougher to crack, but hackers have tricks up their sleeves for those too. They might use brute force attacks, trying different password combinations until they find the right one. Section 5. A Step-by-Step -step Guide to Ethical Hacking with Kali Linux Let's be clear, hacking into someone's Wi-Fi network without permission is illegal and unethical. However, ethical hackers use the same techniques to test and improve network security. They follow a strict code of ethics and always obtain permission before testing a network. Here's a simplified example of how they might use Kali Linux for ethical hacking. Step 1. Reconnaissance. Using tools like Nmap, they scan the network to identify connected devices and open ports. It's like mapping the network's terrain before launching an attack. Step 2. Vulnerability Analysis. 
They use tools like OpenVAS to find weaknesses in the network's software or configuration. Think of it as looking for cracks in the network's armor. Step 3. Exploitation. If vulnerabilities are found, they use tools like Metasploit to simulate an attack and see if they can gain access. This is like a controlled explosion to test the network's defenses. Step 4. Reporting. They document their findings and provide recommendations for improving network security. Think of it as a doctor's report, highlighting areas for improvement. Remember, this is a simplified example. Ethical hacking is a complex field that requires specialized knowledge and skills. It's not something to try at home without proper training and authorization. Section 6. Understanding WEP and WPA WPA2 Attacks WEP, WPA, and WPA2 are security protocols that protect Wi-Fi networks. Think of them as different types of locks on your front door. WEP is like an old rusty lock that's easy to pick. WPA is like a more modern lock, offering better protection. WPA2 is the most secure option, like a high-tech lock with multiple deadbolts. Hackers have developed various attacks to target these protocols. For WEP, they can use tools like Aircrack NG to exploit weaknesses in its encryption algorithm. They capture enough data packets to derive the encryption key, effectively stealing the Wi-Fi password. WPA and WPA2 are tougher nuts to crack, but not impossible. Hackers can use brute force attacks, trying different password combinations until they find the right one. They might also exploit vulnerabilities in the implementation of these protocols, such as weak passwords or outdated firmware. Section 7. The Importance of Robust Network Security In today's digital age, robust network security is paramount. It's like locking your front door when you leave home, a basic precaution to protect your valuables. With the increasing number of devices connecting to the internet, the attack surface for hackers has expanded exponentially. A weak Wi-Fi network is like an open invitation for hackers. They can steal your personal information, spy on your online activity, or even use your network to launch attacks on others. The consequences can be devastating, both for individuals and organizations. Investing in robust network security is not an option, it's a necessity. It's about protecting your privacy, your data, and your digital life. Just like you wouldn't leave your front door unlocked, don't leave your Wi-Fi network vulnerable to attacks. Section 8. Practical Tips for Securing Your Wi-Fi Network Securing your Wi-Fi network doesn't require a degree in cybersecurity. There are simple yet effective steps you can take to make it much harder for hackers to break in. Think of it like reinforcing your front door with a stronger lock and a security system. First, use a strong password. A strong password is your first line of defense. Make it long, complex, and unique, using a combination of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Second, enable WPA2 or WPA3 encryption. WPA2 and WPA3 are the most secure encryption protocols available. Make sure your router is configured to use one of these protocols and disable WEP if it's still enabled. Third, update router firmware. Router manufacturers release firmware updates to patch security vulnerabilities. Keep your router's firmware up to date to ensure you have the latest security enhancements. Fourth, disable WPS. WPS, or Wi-Fi Protected Setup, is a convenient feature that allows you to connect devices to your network with a PIN instead of a password. However, it's known to have security flaws, so it's best to disable it. Fifth, enable firewall. A firewall acts like a barrier between your network and the outside world, blocking unauthorized access. Make sure your router's firewall is enabled and configured correctly. These are just a few practical tips to enhance your Wi-Fi network security. By implementing these measures, you can significantly reduce the risk of becoming a victim of cybercrime. Section 9. Staying ahead in the cybersecurity game. The world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving. Hackers are always finding new ways to exploit vulnerabilities, so staying ahead of the game is crucial. It's like a never-ending game of chess, where both sides are constantly adapting their strategies. One way to stay ahead is to stay informed about the latest cybersecurity threats. 
Subscribe to security blogs, follow security researchers on social media, and attend industry events to stay up to date on the latest attack vectors and mitigation techniques. Another important aspect is to continuously update your knowledge and skills. Cybersecurity is a vast and complex field, and there's always something new to learn. Take online courses, attend workshops, or pursue certifications to enhance your understanding of cybersecurity principles and practices. By staying informed, updating your knowledge, and implementing robust security measures, you can navigate the digital world with confidence, knowing that you're well-equipped to protect yourself from cyber threats.